Hi, this is John Burton from Cinch, here with another It's a Cinch quick instructional video. In today's video, we'll show you how to use Cinch's Launchpad and WebChat Configurator tool to create a Launchpad widget that you can embed on your website, enabling customers to easily contact you via WebChat or other channels. In the browser window on the left, we see the Cinch Contact Pro Launchpad and WebChat Configurator tool. On the right, we see the agent-facing Cinch Contact Pro Communication Panel the tool that contact center reps use to handle incoming customer interactions. The Cinch Launchpad widget is a button you embed on a web page, allowing customers to contact you via their preferred communication channel, whether it be web chat, phone, email, SMS, or messaging apps like WhatsApp, Viber, or Facebook Messenger. The Launchpad widget works with all modern web browsers on both computer and mobile devices. Since Christmas is coming up soon, let's create a Launchpad widget that will embed on the emailsanta.com website in order to provide tech-savvy toddlers around the world with more options for contacting Santa, maybe click-to-call, SMS, web chat, or WhatsApp. To configure our Launchpad widget, we first log into the Launchpad and WebChat Configurator tool and click Create New Configuration. Alternatively, we could load an existing configuration that we previously created and saved. Once we sign in, an easy-to-use wizard walks us through the steps of creating and customizing our Launchpad widget, including selecting our communication channels and creating our own visual look and feel with personalized texts, color schemes, button styles, and more. We can either keep the default greeting text or add our own custom greeting. To add a custom greeting, we click the Add Language button, select a language from the list of supported languages, and then enter our personalized greeting text. We can create greetings in as many languages as we, as we like, as the system will automatically select the appropriate language greeting based on the browser settings of the end user. We can even add greetings for languages that aren't yet supported in Cinch Contact Pro by selecting Custom and then entering the two-character ISO code for the desired language. For example, even though the Cinch Contact Pro communication panel itself does not currently support Latvian, we can create our own custom greeting in Latvian in the Launchpad by entering ISO code LV. For our example, let's select English and enter the greeting text, Ho, 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 what would you like from Santa this year? Next, we'll choose which communication channels we want to enable in our Launchpad widget. For our example, we'll choose WebChat, WhatsApp, and SMS. Let's start with WebChat. We click the arrow to expand the selection and then click the Enabled toggle button. Optionally, we could change the default text for the chat button if desired. Next, let's enable the Show Logon Controls option so that customers can provide their name and email address when initiating a chat. Let's also enable Video Chat and Save Transcript to allow customers the options of requesting video chat and of downloading the chat text transcript after the chat session has ended. We also need to select one or more chat queues to which we want to route customer chat requests in the agent-facing communication panel. Next, let's enable WhatsApp. We again expand the selection and click the Enable button. Optionally, again, we could replace the default WhatsApp channel greeting text with our own custom greeting if desired. Then we need to enter the channel phone number of the phone queue where we want to route incoming WhatsApp chat requests in the agent-facing communication panel. Finally, let's add SMS to our launchpad as well. Perhaps a convenient option for all those toddlers who've already exceeded their monthly data plan allowances and can't use WhatsApp or WebChat. As with other channels we previously added, we expand the selection and click the Enable button. We could again replace the default SMS channel greeting text with a custom greeting if desired. Then we just need to enter the channel phone number of the phone queue where we want, where we want to route incoming SMS chat requests in the agent-facing communication panel. Now that we've selected and configured our channels, we can click the Apply button to save and load the configuration. We could already generate the HTML or JavaScript code so that we can embed the Launchpad on our email santa.com website. But first, let's personalize the Launchpad a bit. To do this, we click the Next button twice to navigate to the notification area of the wizard that allows us to modify the colors, button styles, and position of the Launchpad on our web page. We can do this for both desktop and mobile layouts. In our example here, let's change the icon and then modify the foreground and background colors of our Launchpad button. Okay. Now we're ready to copy the code and embed it into our website. Clicking in either the HTML or the JavaScript areas will automatically copy the respective code into the clipboard. Now we're ready to use the code to add the launchpad to our website. In our example here, we won't actually modify the server-side code of the website, 
but rather we'll paste our code into the browser session for demo purposes. To do so, we right click on the web page and click inspect. Then we click console and then we type control V to paste the code. And now we're ready to use our launch pad. Let's click on the launch pad and select web chat channel. We click start, enter our name and email address and I enter our message. On the right hand side of the screen, the agent sees the new incoming chat request and clicks accept to begin chatting. Wow, that was a cinch. Thanks for watching. See you next time.